for eyes that can see. That's been my message consistently all day. For eyes that can see, you can no longer ignore the truth. I'm going to pull on this. We're going to clarify this a little bit. We've got the Eight of Wands. There's been this undeniable shift here in the recent days. And sorry, my nose is itchy. And for some of you, it feels like it has just rocked you to your core. And you may be feeling like you're questioning everything around you. Thank you. The wheel has spun with ebbs and flows backwards it can no longer go I'm seeing this wheel that's just going like back and forth like clockwise counterclockwise and then it just stopped and did like this whole 180 degrees and it just starts spinning like super super fast in one direction and for like many of you I feel like it's like you've almost been catapulted forward to this new space and you're trying to get your bearings and almost like ground yourself in this new unknown space um, like what I'm seeing is like you're sitting like in this place as the observer right and you're observing all these different spaces. They may be past spaces, they may be current spaces, some people may call them timelines, like whatever you want to call them. But like I said, we excuse me, we started with the Eight of Wands first. This came in super fast and it came in over the last few days. And we had the Tower card, which this is where I'm saying this has rocked some people. Like you are literally questioning everything around you. And there's that wheel. That's where I'm getting this, you know, it was going this way and that way and this way and that way and now it's just stopped. And then it's just flung forward at like rapid speeds and you're literally just feeling so shaky, so off balance and almost filled with this anxiety because you're in this new place in this new space and it's all unknown to you. But like you fought to be in the space. Like you're being given more clarity, more pieces of the puzzle. And like you're getting this bigger picture and it took a lot of fucking work in these spaces to get you here and like I keep hearing like you know honor the life the death the rebirth the resurrection but like not resurrection in the fact of like you know like rising from the dead but resurrect can also mean like bring back into use so like I'm really being pulled like in my head like to bring back into use is your being taken to the space of trust and trusting this observer space where all of these things are playing out beneath you, below you, in front of you. And it's just coming in so fast and so hard and most of your life you haven't trusted yourself. You might say you trust yourself, but you don't really trust yourself. You're not sure of what you feel, which then breeds the anxiety and then that fear sets in and like you just don't know what to do with it. But you are being called to resurrect that trust in yourself and you're you are able to see things from this perspective without attaching emotion to it. It's literally like you're hanging upside down. Like, you, your wheel did the 180 and here you are getting this whole new perspective. Yeah, it feels like you're standing on your head and you don't even know what to do with the flood of information, the flood of puzzle pieces, keys, whatever you want to call them. You, you don't even know what to do with it because you've been given this whole new perspective. We have the moon card here. There's no veil here anymore. And when I say there's no veil here, it's like only truth can be spoken here. The lies, the illusions, they've all been broken. And the thing is with truth, truth exists regardless of anybody's feelings. Truth is indifferent. And 
Truth only becomes good or bad when we attach emotion to it. So you're now sitting in this space as an observer, observing truth, and you've learned to detach your emotion from it. But to stand your ground in a space where you personally have learned not to attach that good or bad or any kind of feeling to the truth, like that's literally putting the end to a cycle that is so huge, so huge. That it's literally bringing the balance back into your life, like justice and temperance like these couldn't be more confirmations that you've literally done all of this work and moved through so quickly into this next space that the only thing you're meant to do here is to learn how to trust yourself everybody talks about you know this is about love and unity and in all this coming together but until you learn to trust yourself you can't really love yourself and this is the bridging of those two spaces this is learning to trust your intuition you know that that bridging of your conscious and your subconscious mind learning that your feelings are emotions or energy in motion and that you have to move through them and not get stuck in them and again like I said you know truth truth isn't different truth doesn't care what your feelings are and right now you just feel rocked to your core because there's so much truth just hitting you in the face that it's literally just tower moment after tower moment after tower moment because everything that you once once thought was a specific way it may be people it may be places it may be your job it may be I mean it could be literally anything but like the amount of truth that you are being hit with right now because you took this new perspective by doing the work and putting to bed all of those places and spaces and cycles you're gonna get this it's coming in and it's coming in hard this is a space that you have to learn to ground yourself in now love you guys